Hello, welcome back to Grow New Plants. Today, I'm gonna to take the Flying Dragon or Hardy Orange or Bitter Orange, they have go by many names. But it's basically this crazy little orange tree that has a lot of thorns on it. And they make little oranges that really aren't very good to eat, but they are great for rootstock for other citrus trees. So I have a miniature orange tree and a miniature lime tree. And I'll show you a video of those two real quick. Okay, so the reason I'm growing these, and I've, I've done two videos. I did the one where I planted the seeds and I did one update on them when they first all sprouted up or maybe about two inches tall. But I'm uh, growing these up to be rootstock and then I'm gonna graft the other citrus trees onto these. And these, this rootstock, ow, they got thorns on them too and they're pretty sharp. Uh, this rootstock is very cold hardy and it helps keep the trees small. So it's a great rootstock for grafting these other citrus trees onto. So. What I'm gonna do, I've had a lot of rain, believe it or not, end of July, and I've had a ton of rain. And uh, so these things are still pretty wet. They come out of the pots easier when they're dry, but I really need to get them transplanted. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come in here and just loosen the soil a little bit, and then they'll pull out. I already tested one or two, and they, they did that just fine. So, take these things out. Now these things, I planted them originally on the 14th of April. And they took about a month, a little over a month to finally start germinating. And I did an update on them in July, or sorry, uh, I think the middle of May, May 14th, I believe it was, something like that. So these things are, they've been about three and a half months since the time they were planted. And they didn't germinate for over 30 days. So two and a half months growing. And they're in these 32 cell root maker trays but I want them to get into bigger soil. Uh, main reason is one, they'll hold moisture better and then they'll start getting room to put more roots out and start growing. And I'm, I'm hoping that maybe by the end of next year, I'll have these things up big enough. So there you go. This root system is still kind of unstable, but you can see it's a, it's really nice. They got nice fibrous roots all the way down. So I want to get them into bigger pots and let them start. Hopefully they'll take off more is what I'm saying. So I'm going to get them up into these one gallon root maker pots. So they're in the root maker trays before the root pruning trays. And now they're in the root maker pots going into one gallon root maker pots. And then I'll let them grow out the rest of this year. And then hopefully by next year, they'll get up big enough. The, the main thing I got to get the, the trunk diameter big enough for, uh, for grafting. So I'm really not sure. I've never grown these before, but I'm pretty happy with them. That's probably, it's probably six, seven inches. Some of them maybe as tall as eight inches. So I'm going to plant a couple of them up and then we will, uh, I'll fast forward through some of it. I won't show you all of them. I got 30, I think I had had 32, 32 out of uh, 64 that I planted germinated and then I think I lost one along the way which is really pretty good so I'm pretty happy with the way they're doing and this is my normal uh, it's basically 75% bark mulch 25% peat and then a slow release, so slow release fertilizer mixed in with this so I'll do one more and then we'll go on I'll just kind of fast forward through Like I said, these would come out a lot easier if they were dry. See, some of those roots are not really, the dirt's not holding together good on them, but they'll be fine. I'll plant them in, pack them in good around there, and they'll take right off. It's better to transplant these things early than to wait too late. So I've got some other trees, uh, some burr oaks that I'm gonna plant up next that I really probably should have already moved up. I probably stunted them a little bit. So anyway, I'm gonna fast forward through the rest of these and then we'll come back, take a look at all of them.
Okay, I just went ahead right now on the video. I just planted half of these things up. I still have one more tray of them to do, but I think you kind of get the point. So anyway, I'm real happy with the way these things are going. Like I said, I've never grown them before. Uh, I'm hoping I get good, healthy plants out of them, which they're looking great so far. And then hopefully next summer, we'll have a video on attempting to do some grafting from some of the orange trees and lime trees on these. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.